Hello, in this dot programming video, I am going to show you the hash map collection. So the hash map collection is basically an implementation of a hash table in the form of a map. But if you iterate over it, the you know the keys and the values, you can't actually expect a certain order. So if you you know add your values in a certain order, they may not be in that order afterwards. I'm going to cover iterating in a separate video, which is basically you know generic for all collections but that's just something to bear in mind when you do iterate over them so to create it you just do var then you put the name of your hash map so we're going to call it hashy equals new hash map open close brackets to add a value you just do hashy square brackets put your you know your index or your key so i'll put key one equals and then a the value for example so if i put 10 after hashing and obviously these keys can be wherever we want these have to be unique if we <laughs> try and use the same key you'll just overwrite it so that's basically how you you know overwrite it and this is for the key two equals well, i could put a string here i could say hello world i'll just keep it that simple okay so we're getting an error here do, 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 do. Ah, I need to import the library. So that, just make sure you got this imported, made a little mistake. Well, your ID will probably let you know. Anyway, if I run that, just make sure it's working. Good stuff. So I actually get one of the values. You may have already guessed. All you have to do is name of the, you know, the what. Actually, we'll print this out first. So, so I can show you what we get. So we get, you know, the key and the value, the key and the value. We can add as many keys and values as we want. If you want to get an individual key, I mean individual value, you put the name of the hash map, square brackets. You specify the key itself. So if I put key two and I run that, we'll get hello world printed out over here. So that, that's really it for hash maps. You can add multiple values as well using the dot add all method. I recommend having a you know as an extra task try doing that if you have any questions if you you know need any help feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video